Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and this is your Stockwatch list for Friday, September 15th. Well, North Korea is at it again, and North Korea fired a missile tonight. Uh, North Korea missile has been launched. Uh, Japan Cabinet Secretary, a missile fell into the seas 2,000 kilometers east of Cape and I won't begin to pronounce that, but uh, yeah, off of some cape of Japan. And um, so this is the spy in the after hours. Uh, we were having problems getting up through this, uh, you know, 250, 25, 250 area. And um, now after hours, we have the spy uh, trading down a little bit and the uh, futures... Yeah, the futures are also down. All right, uh, Dow futures down uh, 37, S&P futures, ES futures down 6, and your NASDAQ futures down, uh, we'll call it 16 right now. So uh, we do have the futures down. So basically, um, you know, to give you a big watch list uh, wouldn't be a wise thing to do. I will do, a, um, you know, give you my stock list, but... Um, you know, it's going to be very limited because we're going to have to see how we open in the morning. Uh, Oracle had uh, earnings after the bell, ORCL, and uh, that stock popped. Then they went on their conference call, and then the stock sold off. That's why those earnings conference calls are so important. Now, with earnings conference calls, you don't have to sit there and listen to it, but you just have to be aware that they are on a conference call. And that's why I go over the uh, conference calls and the times with you sometimes, and I gave you the earnings call site and uh, just since we're talking about it, earningscast.com, and they listed the uh, conference call. This is for Friday, earnings calls, and then, uh, whoops, uh, let's see, let's see, for uh, today, we had Oracle. Uh, we had Oracle at uh, 5 o'clock, and I guess they didn't have it, but um, they were saying on us, oh, that's on Wednesday, sorry. Okay, let's go to Thursday. Okay, so Oracle uh, was at 5 o'clock, and uh, so uh, at least we were aware that Oracle had their conference call at 5 o'clock, and then you see the reaction in the after hours. So, um, all right, let's look at some things, right? We won't totally abandon our um, process here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the uh, call activity for today. Uh, we had CERN. Uh, with call activity, uh, EXEL, MNK, MU, NBR, NLSN, OAS, RIG, VIX, uh, VNDA. I wonder if this uh, VIX was uh, uh, the uh, leader of North Korea. Um, anyway, uh, WDC, VNDA. Actually, I guess he would have bought him on the uh, put side, but no, actually the call side, right. So that could have been him, right? Could have been the leader of uh, North Korea because he knew he was going to fire the missile. So anyway, uh, VNDA and WDC uh, had some call activity, unusual call activity. Uh, JC Penny, Penny and uh, OCLR uh, to the put, so uh, put side, uh, negative uh, put activity, unusual put activity in those names. Uh, for the highs today, we had uh, HALO, uh, HUSA had a little bit of a pop. These are homes. They upped their guidance, I believe, for the quarter, and that one popped really big. Uh, IMMY also uh, popped today. J-O-N-E, an oil name. Uh, Rare uh, popped today. So nice uh, movement in some names today. There was actually a really good day today um, in the service today. ALDX was one that I called over. Um, well, to be honest, you know, truth in advertising, right? I had to play this one twice. I thought I was going to break uh, seven back here. So I took it at like uh, 685. It got up to, uh, I think it was uh, 695. And then it pulled back on us. So I told everybody, you know, just take a small loss. Uh, we can either move on to something else or we can trade it again because I had my lines on the chart and uh, this ALDX uh, popped up and I had called in the room. If it gets over 702, right, 702, uh, you know, this one might go. So I called that one and uh, I got over 702 and it popped all the way up to um, uh, was around 785. So, you know, happy trades there, right? Happy trades. 
And uh, as you see, it continued all the way up uh, past $11 per share. Now, I'd be lying to you and tell you I got all that to $11 a share. I did not. I wish I did, but I didn't. Um, I got up to, I sold some here, um, and then I sold some up at uh, $8.50, and I was done with it for uh, the day. And then I just watched it continue on up. But you know what? It's fine. Uh, my process worked. It got over 7. I was selling some up into here. I held some. I got another nice move, and um, and then I was out. I Nobody could have expected this on uh, this ALDX. So that's part of trading, you know, um, but I'm so happy. I got a nice move. A lot of people in the room uh, in the service got a very nice move in uh, ALDX. So you can't be uh, greedy. And uh, you know how that goes, right? Uh, pigs get slaughtered. So the rest is, uh, you know, off to the Wall Street gods. Uh, they got all that, but we got this. So I'm very happy with that. Um, as far as um, the earnings, uh, um, yeah, your calendar for tomorrow, for Friday, uh, some of the earnings coming out uh, tomorrow, uh, just before the bell, uh, TNP. And to be honest with you, I have no idea who TNP is. So that's before the bell. So we're not really concerned about it. Um, the uh, economic information coming out at 830. We have the Empire State. We have uh, retail sales at 830. Uh, 915, we have industrial production. 10 o'clock, we have consumer sentiment. Uh, 10 o'clock, we have business inventories. And then 1 o'clock, we have the uh, Baker Hughes rig count coming out for Friday uh, the 15th. Also, Friday the 15th is quad witching, all right? And that's when all the index and equity options expire. So uh, that's tomorrow also, as if we don't have enough on our plate. So that will be happening uh, tomorrow. At least we don't have a rebalancing going on uh, tomorrow. But we, like I said, we do have this uh, Korea... Uh, North Korea, uh, you know, shooting missiles in the air, and currently the spy is down. All right, let me get this out of the way, and um, let's go ahead and we'll get into our uh, watch list. So as I said, this will be a very limited watch list, um, um, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to dwell too long on the charts because we do have that missile being fired, and the spy is trading down. Uh, the semiconductor names, some of them are down, and uh, the banks are down. Uh, in the after hours tonight, uh, but you know, we'll give it the old college try as they say and uh, I'll just give you a few names and uh, AMRN had a nice uh, pop today nice volume today over three and a half million shares So I'll be watching this one to see if there's you know any continuation in that name uh, AMRS, uh, you see it's rolling up, uh, volume coming into the name, expanding volume, uh, looking for maybe that, uh, you know, 385 break and then maybe the $4 break, uh, specialty chemicals, uh, AVIR, a uh, nice pop today. So looking for, you know, some type of setup in that one tomorrow, possibly, uh, then, you know, we get into the names. This one is FAS. Uh, basically when you buy this, you're shorting the banks. So I'll be looking for some kind of play in a FAS. Then the other thing I'll be looking at is uh, maybe Nougat, uh, which is uh, up in the after hours. Uh, this is a play on gold, uh, GLD, because gold will be up. And as you can see in the after hours, GLD is up. So we're going to have to kind of think this way now. Think uh, bearish uh, instruments. Um, a name that I was watching today, but I did not want to pull the trigger. You know when you have like a feeling that something was going to happen? And so I thought maybe this Korean thing, and I was saying it in my room. Uh, you know, I'm not putting, I'm not taking too many swings on. I'm starting to sell some of my swing trades. Uh, because this uh, North Korea thing, this guy might shoot a missile going into the weekend. The good thing is, I guess, is that he shot the missile tonight. So maybe there won't be a missile over the weekend. So, you know, now that he shot a missile, uh, maybe he won't be shooting any over the weekend. So we'll have to think that way, too. Um, so here's a uh, first solar. It popped a little bit. So this one will be on watch, especially, you know, with the big move in uh, oil. You know, oil uh, pushed up to... Uh, uh, 50 50 today oil did get over uh, 50 today, but it did not close above 50 so uh, but oil looking you know much better But it's had a big move. Here's uh, the USO, you know popping and uh, XLE is the ETF the spider for the uh, energy and you see You know we're getting like an indecisive candle here around that 67 mark on a uh, 
on uh, the XLE. But look at this nice run that it's had. Okay, my folks in uh, the room, we are in this Schlumberger from uh, $64. And, um, you know, we've been selling up into strength. And it uh, looks really nice. But, you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow um, with uh, oil. And uh, this is, I want this one to be a longer term trade for me. And I am holding, you know, some shares. I've been selling into the strength. But uh, the guys in the room are very happy with that. We are a swing trading service and a day trading service. So I just want to point that out. Um, GILD, after the bell, they got an upgrade. Uh, I think it was by RBC. And uh, I think it was $94 for the price target. Now it is down in the after hours, but this one has been very strong. So I'm looking for stocks, stocks that have been strong to maybe, um, you know, get an entry in. Uh, so GILD might be one HMNY um, you know I like this uh, hammer candle and then when LPTH came out with uh, earnings and they beat on their earnings and here's uh, LPTH I was going to talk about that one next but I'll talk about it now uh, they got a nice pop in the after hours on their uh, earnings beat on LPTH so maybe this uh, HMNY is going to, um, you know, move up in sympathy with uh, LPTH. So those two will be on watch tomorrow. Uh, HPQ, you know, the chart's just a nice looking chart. Needs to get over, you know, 1950, 1955. But, you know, obviously we're going to gap down tomorrow. So this won't be looking as pretty uh, tomorrow. Uh, I passed through this one on the charts and under $1 name. Uh, you see the volume coming into the name, so uh, maybe this one will get going. Uh, but once again, we have missiles being shot. Uh, KTOS, uh, maybe this one, it's a defense name. Maybe this one starts to turn around. They did just do a recent, you know, dilution, I believe. So, um, you know, but uh, maybe this one will be in the mix tomorrow to the upside. Of course, we'll have to watch uh, Boeing and uh, names like uh, UTX you know, these defense names, and uh, what's the other one? Um, uh, ge uh, General Dynamics is another, um, you know, defense name. LMT is another defense name, Lockheed Martin. So, th you know, those are some bigger names, though. So uh, then uh, this uh, MTRX had news uh, after the bell, right? Do I have the right one? Oh, no, I don't have the right one. Hold on. Let me... Uh, Okay, so here's the name I was looking for, uh, MRTX, actually. Uh, they were halted, and then the news came out, uh, presents positive preliminary data from ongoing clinical trials. And uh, so that stock uh, popped in the after hours, okay, on MRTX. So that one's going to be on a watch tomorrow. Um, I didn't even do this for you tonight because I got a little uh, sidetrack from the uh, North Korea firing missiles. Uh, this is courtesy of the uh, trade exchange. Uh, here was the um, um, insider purchases uh, after hours, FLDM, COTY, and AVDL, uh, some insider purchases after hours. Uh, some syndicate news that came out, we had uh, LIF. E filed form S3, uh, MRNS, uh, public offering, TTOO, proposed public offering, and uh, CVA filed form uh, S3 also. And uh, so that's some of your um, uh, syndicate news coming out on your offerings. Uh, what else? Uh, we had the North Korea. Oh, here's the LPTH. They beat by 21 cents and they beat on revenue. And that was the one I just spoke about. So uh, that's some news from the uh, trade exchange in the after hours. So we talked about uh, that LPTH, MRTX, like I said, that popped. I showed you the news. Uh, MZOR, this one, uh, basically because of the chart set up here, uh, you see this nice, uh, you know, pullback. And uh, we're holding the 20 SMA. So maybe if we can get over uh, the highs today on this name, uh, 4563. So 45, maybe, you know, 50 is enough maybe to get this one going. We'll see. Uh, NLNK, we've been talking about this one for a few days, you know, the big pop. And now we have this uh, four day stick pullback here. And the 10 SMA is starting to come uh, catch up. Uh, we also have the 200 SMA right here. 
and uh and it held that it hit that and it bounced off of it so nlnk will be on watch to see if there's any type of a turnaround nymx nice pop in that name all right nymx and uh, we'll see if there's any kind of trade in this uh plse uh this one also popped today uh kind of off the bottom so not a favorite but uh we'll see if this one will uh, set up somehow tomorrow uh like i said with the north korea uh, you know missiles going off uh spxu is uh, up in the after hours and these are inverses so when the market goes down uh, these will move up so spxu is an inverse so if you buy this then you want the market to go down so i'll be watching that like i said nugget nugt uh, tza is another inverse but this one is based on the uh, russell 2000 so you see that's up in the after hours and uh you know that's been beaten down uh but uh you know maybe tomorrow we might get a trade in the tza and basically what you're doing here with the tza is you're shorting you know the russell 2000 or the iwm all right so when you're playing tza basically you're going long this instrument but you're betting that the market will go down so uh wti oil name nice pop today uh big volume came into the name uh so we'll see if there's any kind of setup in this if oil is going to continue up you would think oil might rest a little bit tomorrow but we'll see uh xxii full disclosure i am in this one from uh two dollars and about 45 cents and uh we got a nice push up in this name uh you know so it's showed major strength here today uh, I doubt I'm going to trade this tomorrow, but I will have this on watch for maybe, you know, a pullback. The same way I'm watching uh, NLNK, um, I'll be, you know, watching XXII for another, you know, possible entry in the name. All right, so um, that's the uh, watch list. Um, listen, come uh, come check out my website. Uh, it's combination swing trading and day trading service. Uh, you can lock in your price. All right, I think it's very affordable. Uh, we are a day trading and swing trading chat room. I have a private Twitter feed. Uh, if you go on my Twitter feed, you can see some periscopes that I put out and I show you, you know, some of the things that you get with the room as far as uh, scans and things like that news audio news into the room so it's uh you know it's a really complete package uh that you're getting um this is the home page here um and basically so you come to the home page and we're focused disciplined trading uh we're swing traders and day trading with a private twitter feed i'm on the mic at least you know four five six seven eight times a day i call uh, uh stocks over the microphone i type them in the room you know the entry you know the stop they're put in the room before uh they trigger okay so uh that's i take pride in doing that uh, if you click on this join me button uh then you'll see you get the 20 percent off you just go here you click on it and then uh, you can use paypal you can use your credit card etc and uh, so come you know give us a try all right um i've been trading a long time and uh, i can you can come swing trade day trade and come learn with me all right this has been zozo stock watch by the way uh, our uh, youtube got up to a thousand uh subscribers so thank you very much for that if you're new for the first time please hit the subscribe button please hit the like button i know you won't like that i'm selling my service on my video but you know i just want to get the word out there i won't do it very often uh but uh just want to get the word out we're relatively new we've been open since uh, september 1st and uh, we are having a fantastic uh, time with our swing trades today like i said we traded that aldx and a few others and um yes the uh, monday we traded gopro so um you know it's going very well i think people are receiving it well they're following the calls and the trades uh they say it's relatively easy to follow the calls and um they're very informed as we are in the trade all right everybody have a great night i'm sorry that korea is shooting missiles off and that the uh, spy is uh down i'll uh, we'll take one last look at the spy um you know they are trying to hold this uh uh two uh forty nine fifty zone right now uh it's about quarter to eight my time uh we'll take one last look at the uh, futures for you and um 
I'll bring that up. Give me one second. Here's your futures. Uh, Dow futures down 33. S&P futures down 6. And the NASDAQ futures down 16. So, you know, we've bounced uh, several times from this North Korea. Um, you know, I guess I'll call it shenanigans, whatever you want to call it, threats. Um, so we'll see if we're going to bounce tomorrow. Don't just go in full gung ho shorting the market uh, because, uh, you know, you might get burnt if you do that. Uh, you know, we might get a reversal or, you know, dip buyers may come in. All right. This has been Zozo Stockwatch. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for the support of the channel. You can catch me at Zozo Stockwatch on Twitter, Stock Twits, and um, you come join my service. I think you'll like it. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much.